In recent years, Jacksonville has earned a reputation as a hotbed for rap music, with a surge of emerging artists making waves on the music scene. But the harsh reality is that alongside this musical talent, Jacksonville has also become entangled in a web of gang conflicts, feuds, and lyrical rivalries. What should be a city celebrated for its musical prowess is now making headlines for a different reason. The recent news is dominated by the shooting incident involving Fulio in his hometown. At the popular Jacksonville drill rapper Charles Jones, who performed under the name Fulio, was shot in the foot. There is more to this unfortunate event, and we here are ready to clear the air. But before we delve into the full coverage, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. In the wee hours of October 7th, 2023, Fulio, the man whose fame knew no bounds, embarked on a short journey within the cozy confines of his hometown. That day, he was cruising in his slick Obsidian Black Dodge Challenger, a symbol of his success and style as he approached the 3100 block of 18th Street in Jacksonville. Close to the prestigious Paxton School for Advanced Studies, something happened to him. The night was still and the streets were eerily quiet, setting the stage for what will become a chapter in Fulio's dramatic life story. In Fulio's hometown, a meticulous planned attack unfolded. Out of nowhere, two vehicles filled with masked men suddenly descended upon him with one chilling purpose in mind, to end Fulio's life. Their guns blazed with a relentless fury, bullets slicing through the quiet night air until they had fired every last round in the arsenal. The intensity of the gunfire sent shockwaves through the neighborhood, terrifying the residents who dared to peek through their curtains. After the attackers made their escape, a brave resident made a frantic call to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. The response was swift. When the officers arrived at the scene, what they encountered was nothing short of astonishing. Fulio's once pristine Dodge Challenger, a symbol of his success, now bore the scars of a war zone. Bullet holes peppered the car's exterior, transforming it into a surreal, metallic Swiss cheese. The Sheriff's Office did immense words when commenting on this horrific incident. The Sheriff's Office explained that it was indeed made with an intent to kill. The statement read as it appears that the suspect or suspects were waiting for the victim and ambushed them. When piecing together the aftermath of this harrowing incident, it was found that Fulio now finds himself in the care of UF Health Jacksonville, undergoing critical surgery. While the true extent of the attack might not be immediately apparent from the bullet riddled vehicle, Fulio's condition remains shrouded in uncertainty. However, a reliable source has shed some light on the severity of his injuries. The evidence came from an unexpected place, Fulio's own parents, who shared a heartfelt message on his Instagram account. The post simply stated, keep Fulio, my son, in y'all prayers. He was shot last night in his hating city. This candid message from a concerned parent added another layer to an already distressing situation. The roots of why Fulio became a target in his own hometown traced back to 2018. Back then, Julio Fulio took a picture in front of a banner adorned with the photos of three teenagers, Trayvon Bullard, Royale, Devon Smith Jr., and Jacoby Deshad Groover. These young lives had tragically been taken in a mass shooting. We'll get back to this though. In the meantime, let's focus more on the heated part of this brawl. Fast forward to November 8th, 2020. Fulio faced another perilous situation while attempting to exit his vehicle on Ernest Street in Riverside. He became the victim of a shooting. Hours after the incident, Fulio went live on his Instagram stating, I didn't get hit. I got grazed in the leg. This episode added fuel to the fire of the ongoing tension surrounding him. Fulio continued, I shot back in self-defense. My gun is registered. If I did something illegal, the police will put me in jail. A ninja did miss 100 shots though. They must have thought I was lacking for show. He then continued, Y'all miss a whole 100 shots, literally. The Texas shooting in 2021 was more serious, and Fulio found himself in a hospital bed. From there, he went live again from bed sharing tales of his attack. The backdrop to Fulio's life story gets even more intricate when you delve into the rivalries that have defined his journey. It all came to a head when a rival gang, ATK, led by rapper Young Ines, unleashed a viral music video title, Who I Smoke, weeks after the Texas shooting attempt on Fulio's life. In this song, Fast Money Goon delivered rhymes that escalated tensions further. Now, here's the crux of it. Fulio proudly aligns himself with the KTA gang, the sworn rivals of ATK. The acronyms ATK and KTA have sparked numerous debates online with various interpretations, but one constant remains, the K, which stands for kill. In this rivalry, Young and A shines as the star of ATK, while Julio Fulio takes the spotlight as the leading figure in KTA. The beef between these two factions has become a subject of intense scrutiny on YouTube. Several channels, such as Quiet Room, hosted by Queen's Flip, which delves into the rap battles, and Trap Life documentaries, focused on documenting the criminal aspects of the rap scene. ATK versus KTA. 
Young E. Nace versus Julio Fulio have chronicled the origins and escalation of this feud. So, beneath the surface of the music industry and fame, a complex and potentially dangerous underworld of rivalries and tensions has been brewing, shaping Fulio's tumultuous journey in ways that extend far beyond the realm of music. The feud between Young and Ace and Julio Fulio escalated to a deadly level back in May 2017, when tragedy struck Jacksonville's west side. A 19-year-old named Zion Brown, who happened to be Julio Fulio's cousin, lost his life in a horrific incident when an unknown man stormed into a home and fatally shot him. In the aftermath of this tragic event, a 19-year-old named DeAndre Thomas was arrested in connection with the shooting. This incident marked a turning point as the beef between Young and Ace and Julio Fulio took a dark turn and deadly turn, adding to the complexity of the situation. Young and Ace had already faced legal trouble prior to this tragedy. He had pleaded no contest in connection with a robbery in Orange Park that had occurred seven months close to the exact place Zion Brown was murdered. In 2018, the simmering feud took a violent turn. On that fateful day, Young and Ace was out celebrating his brother's birthday at a town center restaurant, joined by three friends. What should have been a joyous occasion turned into a nightmare when gunmen opened fire on them. Young and Ace miraculously survived despite being the target of eight bullets intended to end his life. However, the same couldn't be said for his companions. Tragically, Youngin's brother, Trayvon Bullard, along with Royale Devon Smith Jr. and Jacoby Deshad Groover, lost their lives in the mass shooting. What makes this a ready grim situation even worse is Julio Fulio's reaction. He took to social media to glorify the killings, hosting disturbing content. He even went as far as creating a t-shirt with a picture of Royale Devon Smith Jr. emblazoned with the words, Rest in Piss 23. To add insult to injury, Fulio shared a photo of the t-shirt on his Instagram page, callously mentioning that he was getting a new one made for his show. This dark chapter and their ongoing rivalry revealed a disturbing side of the feud, one marked by violence, loss, and a shocking lack of remorse on social media platforms. Back then, Fulio continued to find himself entangled in the cycle of violence, and that soon became apparent in January 2019, a year marked by yet another tragic mass shooting. This time, the grim scene unfolded outside Paradise Gentlemen's Club on Bay Meadows Road. In the midst of this altercation, Voskun met a grim fate. He had just finished performing at the club and was inside a car with his family members. He wasn't shot alone. His family members also suffered injuries during the violent incident. Tragically, the bloodshed didn't stop there. In the same shooting, Fulio's crew attacked Kesu. In the crossfire, his father, Abdul Robinson, sustained a gunshot wound to the back, but the ATK affiliate Kesu was able to escape unshattered. Just when it seemed like the violence might subside, more retaliatory attacks followed in quick succession. This time, it was Julio Fulio's little brother, known as Bibby, who tragically lost his life at a Moncrief area apartment complex. These events painted a grim picture of a feud that seemed to know no bounds, leaving a trail of sorrow and devastation in its way. The brawl between ATK and KTA has devolved into a dangerous cycle of attack me first and I'll retaliate. After the tragic loss of Bibby, Keisu marked the occasion by putting the fallen KTA victims on the cover of his album, naming it Bibby Out. This was a chilling reminder of the ongoing tensions, but Fulio believed that Keisu can't act alone without Young Inace's permission, which means to him, Young Inez was behind the death of Bibby. So in March 2019, while touring around in Waycross, Georgia, Young Inez was attacked and narrowly escaped death. Since nobody was arrested after this, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, on seeing all the battles going on among rival gangs, they then spun an action. Things took a legal turn when the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office erased the Kesu, charging him with the murders of Bibby and Lil Buck. This arrest followed months of Kesu openly boasting about these killings in various videos, even taunting Julio Fulio about smoking Bibby. In retaliation, Julio Fulio didn't hold back either. He posted videos of himself taunting ATK and Young and Ace, openly discussing who I'm smoking, which included Ace's brother and rapper 23. The exchange of taunts and threats through social media only added fuel to the already volatile situation, further escalating the feud between these rival factions. Julio Fulio isn't taking a passive role in these ongoing battles. He's been actively involved. Recently, he dropped a diss track called When I See You, a remix of Fantasia's popular song, When I See You. This track garnered nearly 1 million views in just 12 hours after its release. But here's the twist. While Fantasia's song is about the butterflies and excitement of seeing someone she admired, Fulio's version takes a completely different route. His lyrics were all about his intense dislike for Young and Ace and what he had to do when he faced him. What makes this even more unsettling is the banner that Fulio prominently displays in the video. It features the images of three teenagers who tragically lost their lives while riding with Young and Ace near Town Center. This diss track and the visual elements it included add another layer of intensity to the ongoing feud. 
illustrating just how deeply personal and contentious these rivalries have become within Jacksonville's rap scene. In a particularly striking scene from the video, Julio Fulio is seen lying on top of that very banner in the graveyard while rapping. During this unsettling moment, he makes references to 23, or Royal Devon Smith Jr., who is pictured on the banner alongside Young and Ace's brother, Trayvon Buller, and Jacoby Deshaun Groover. Tragically, these three young individuals lost their lives after leaving a town center restaurant where they had been celebrating Bullard's birthday. This eerie and provocative imagery further underscores the animosity and personal vendettas between AKT and KTA gangs. While this deadly beef apparently started a few years ago, the attacks recorded and the latest attack on Fulio shows that this is not a brawl to ignore. Do you think this Fulio's attack would bring a halt to the AKT and KTA's conflict? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and while you're here, click that video on your screen and watch more amazing content.